Hi everybody, welcome to the We Garden Homestead. Um, I am Claudia. We grow in Zone 9B South Florida. Um, I don't have anything homegrown today, but I am going to share a recipe with you. We have some um, ribs in the smoker today, and I'm making some of my all-day potato salad to go with them. So um, come on along, and we'll make potato salad together. Okay, so for my all-day potato salad, I usually like to use uh, smaller potatoes. But this is what I have, and th these have seen better days. I don't always peel them, but I think today I am going to. Um, I have washed them, and I'm just not thrilled with the way the skin looks on these, especially with this much uh, growth. So I am going to probably peel them. There's my potatoes. I'm going to give them a rinse. I'll fill them with some more water and then I will boil them. Um, I'm going to guess for about 10 minutes. While my potatoes are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and make my marinade. I like to marinate them while they're still warm um, and then I'm, I'll mix the dressing with them later. Um, so for my marinade, I've got about I don't know, a little more than an eighth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna put in some Italian seasoning. Just, and this is to taste. I, I'm gonna say that's probably a little over a teaspoon, maybe, maybe, yeah, probably, probably almost two teaspoons. I really don't measure a lot. So I've got some uh, chopped garlic. I'm not doing a whole big batch, so I'm going to say probably about a teaspoon of that, and then some olive oil. You could just use regular vegetable oil, I've, I've used both. And we're going to make this get uh, just a little over, probably I went even with the vinegar and the olive oil. And then I, I'll just whisk that. Give that a good whisk. Whiskey business. See how it looks. <laughs> and uh, it was Mr. Salty running by. And, you know, he likes garlic. We'll throw a little more in there. Maybe another teaspoon. And remember, I'm doing a very small batch. I mean, this is all to taste, so you could add more or less of, of any of it. I just like to get that flavor punched into the potatoes. So I'm going to set that aside, I'm going to put all this away, and then when the potatoes are done, I'll be back. I'm back. My potatoes are done. Um, I cooked them just till I could put a fork in them um, easily without them completely falling apart, if that helps. I don't know. I, I didn't check the time, so I'm not sure how long it was. Uh, half of them are for tonight for our potato salad. They have been rinsed a little bit and drained, but they are still hot. And then half of them are going to go in this pan here to cool. So, oh, I don't like that one. So that I can freeze them and we'll use them another time. And that, this project with the, with the frozen potatoes will be in my every... Thing counts challenge for the week. So that's that. Hang on to that spoon. I had to use those potatoes up, and this is definitely more than enough for us for, for a couple meals. So there's my dressing that I just made. You could also just use uh, your favorite Italian dressing for this. I'm sure that would work just perfectly well. I'm actually not going to use that metal spoon because I'm worried it's going to squish my potatoes and I don't want that. This will work very well. I'm just going to toss this together so they all get coated. I'm going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it open and put it in the refrigerator. Um, I started a little late today for 
all day. I would have preferred to have started yesterday. So um, I'll go, I'll put them in the fridge like this and then I'll go back and I'll stir periodically to make sure they all get evenly marinated because there's a lot of marinade floating in the bottom. I don't want some of them to be super marinated and some of them to not be anything. So these are going in the fridge. Um, I have two hard boiled eggs that just, I just turned off. Those are going in the ice water. Those are for the dressing later. These are gonna cool, and then they're gonna go in the freezer. Uh, that's gonna be my every bit counts for today. Um, so look for that on the video when it comes. I'll be back in several hours to finish up. I'm gonna go ahead and make the dressing for my potato salad, my all day potato salad. So I have two hard boiled eggs that I've already peeled. I'm just going to dice them. Whew. It is rumbling outside. Hopefully that rain's going to hit us because what I do have in the garden really needs some help. I'm going to put two in. For the amount of potatoes I have, probably one would be enough. But, you know, I've got two cooked and it is what it is. I don't need them to go to waste. I mean, what am I going to do with one? So I've got the eggs. I've got some mayonnaise. There's two good scoops. I don't know. It's all to taste. I'll hold on to that for a minute. A little bit of mustard. I like the honey Dijon stone ground. Sometimes I get the gray poupon coarse ground. I like the sweeter mustards, not the not the yellow mustard. And you don't need a lot of it. That's probably plenty. We're not big mustard eaters here. If you like mustard. Put a little extra in. A little bit of dill weed. Dried dill weed. Well, that was good mustard. That was nice. And that is really all I put in there. I'm just going to mush it around a little bit. Mix it up. I like to make sure those eggs really get mixed in very well. give it a taste. I think it could use a little more of this. Just a little bit. And a little more of this. I did use the same spoon. You know why? Because it's just me and Salty. That right there. So I am going to put this in the fridge. And I will mix it with my potato salad just before serving. Many, many minutes later. Here it is. Uh, my marinated potatoes. I might have put a little too much marinade in there. Because there's still a lot of liquid in the bottom. But that's okay. That's just more flavor. They might be a little soupy. I don't care. My dressing that has been in the fridge since I made it. I don't want to waste any of that. Let's fold that in. I think Salty's ribs are going to be done pretty soon, so I will do a quick little, <laughs> a quick little something once this is on the plate. I did put a little salt in with the potatoes when I when I boiled them. This is looking amazing. I know we're going to have ribs again tomorrow. I don't know if we'll have enough potato salad. We'll find out, though, won't we, for leftovers. 
give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl here. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. I'll give you a quickie, a quick update. When, uh, <laughs> I need another one of those. Quick update when we serve dinner. All right. There it is. All day potato salad on the plate with some grape, peanut butter and jelly glazed ribs. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord.